Okay, so today I'm going to be making a Neon Tetra Care Guide Care Sheet thing. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, for Neon Tetras, they're relatively small fish. They get to about inch to two inches max. Usually about one and a half inches. They're, the way you can tell them apart from a Cardinal Tetra, which they look very similar, except for the fact that the Cardinals have that red line on the bottom, that red, all the way under their blue line. So like half red, half blue with their, that, no, you can say like grayish color up top. Their blue line extends from their, almost their tail to their eyes. Uh, okay, so they're definitely one of the more moderate fish to take care of. You don't want to put them in right as your tank's done cycling. Wait at least three months before you put those guys in, because they can be sensitive to water. Uh, if you have them in there, I recommend doing, I don't know, every like 9 to 14 days, like a 10% water change. That'll keep them in their healthiest. Keep them nice and happy. Uh, I would definitely recommend 10 gallon or bigger. I wouldn't try 5 because they'd probably feel too squished. This is a 20 gallon tank. Uh, I'd definitely recommend keeping a school of 5 or more. I have 5. Five or more is better. I'd pr probably, I'd say for people with 30 and above, I'd say at least seven, just so they don't feel so alone. Because if, if they feel alone, they'll start going up on the sides of your tanks and just swimming up and down, kind of like Cory cats do sometimes to entertain themselves. Uh, I'd definitely recommend keeping them with live plants. It'll keep them happier. And they'll give them a place to hide if you scare them. They'll kind of just dart. Like, they can dart inside my wisteria. They're just behind the sword or something. Mm. Keep them with fish around their temper level, and these are very peaceful fish. They usually never have an issue with temper. So I wouldn't... Uh, I think you can keep them with some kind of cichlids, but I know, like, most of those, like, aggressive cichlids don't keep them with those. I think they're okay with angelfish. I'm not sure about their temper level. I've never kept angels. Not sure about discus either. Uh, try keeping them with, like, tetras, except... Uh, was it Congo Tetras? Those are pretty big and aggressive fish. I keep them with mine with glow lights, these guys. Yeah, the cart, these are the neons and glow lights go pretty well together. I also keep them with like Cory Cats and the same as Algae either. Eater. Uh, as I said, live plants, it's not a must, but I would just, it's strongly recommended. Uh, Lighting, just try and keep the tank lit so they can see. I think that's a given. Uh, Temperature-wise, I keep my tank around 74-ish. It keeps my algae down. Like a, I Now, I used to keep it up high at like 82, which is pretty hot, and my algae kept blooming. But now it's around 74. It doesn't bloom. And these guys, they like kind of colder water. So I'd recommend anywhere between 74 and 78 is fine for them. 80 is okay, but there's... They don't like it as much as the cooler temperatures. Mm. Yeah, so minimum tank size is at 10, 5 plants. Oh, food. You can feed them flakes, pellets, freeze-dried shrimp. Uh, I don't feed mine live. Uh, live food are frozen just because I'm afraid of parasites. And I don't feel they need them. They look pretty healthy and glow e yeah uh, they should when you feed them to make sure they're healthy they should go right after the food like my home it's shaky because I'm opening this they should go I feed mine the primary fix it's good for salt and fresh uh, they should just kind of go right after it okay yep there they go Looks like it drifted over there, but they're, yeah, they shouldn't be, like, hanging in the corner. They should just try and go for it, like, when you give them food, they should be chilling up top trying to get the food. They shouldn't be lingering down here, looking all unhealthy. Uh, yeah, when we first turn the light on, don't be scared if they're very, their red's kind of very dim and their glowy blue light isn't, like, it's, it should be dark. Because I think they use the light to help them 
with their colors. Uh, yeah. So I think that basically covers everything. I'm trying to think I have everything right, yeah. Uh, you don't need RODI water, just dechlorinized tap water. Just use like the Aquion water conditioner, the Amquel or Prime or anything. I don't even get that. This one, water conditioner, and the Amquel. Or Prime or any other water conditioner is fine. Yeah. Mm. So make sure your tank param I'd recommend again, so in a nutshell, ten or bigger, school of at least five, if your tank's thirty or more, I'd go at least seven in a school. If I like the school, uh they uh, feed them regularly. You can feed them basically any food. They're pretty pretty easy to feed, might have no issue. I can switch off between basically my two foods and I have no problem like right after it. Uh, live plants not needed but strongly recommended. Uh, keep with fish like tetras are go really good together like tetras and tetras go really good yeah as I said so yeah and then dechlorinized tap water yeah so that's it for this video please rate the video comment the video and subscribe